everyone. Since you've been waiting for such a long time, I thought I'd start this next section with a little suspense. This is the fourth episode in the series, The Art That Lives in My House. And this is the art that lives in my bedroom. This section will be in three parts. But just beware, the third part is X rated. <laughs> Well, here we are in the bedroom. And this first wall is one of my favorite groupings in the house. Featured on this wall are artwork by Roman Esser, Claire Johnson, Vince Santos, and Scooter LaForge. I'm going to start a slideshow shortly, which is going to talk about each one of these pieces. Behind this door is the loo, and three pieces uh, are in there, and you'll see those in the slideshow. Over here above this mirror are three pieces by artist Zana Noe. And then we have this wall with a piece by Timothy Cummings, some pieces from New Zealand, and a nice ceramic piece. And we're gonna end section one with these two pieces right here. That's a Timothy Cummings on the top, and that's a poster of Mad Magda's Mysterium. Hope you enjoy the show with some great shots of all these pieces. And this is part one. Beginning a photograph by photographer Danny Nicoletta taken of Roman Esser and his dog 99. This was purchased from an artist on Hayes Street. I probably paid $10 for it. It's done on glass. Carved out of a book by artist Diana Thompson. A sweet story, all seen from the cover. A beginning piece from Vance Chattel, good friend and artist of Queen Anne Boleyn before she lost her head. These next three pieces are by artist Vince Santos, who is not only an amazing visual artist, but an amazing performance artist. These were done uh, when he first moved to New Orleans. He sold these in the French market. He's gone on to create amazing doll pieces, and you'll see those after, see the link to those after this is done. Looks like Mad Magda. Claire Johnson painted this of uh, Mad Magda's regular Roberta Carlton, one of our fabulous eccentrics. Artist Scooter LaForge painted this and donated it to Visual Aid's Big Deal, where I purchased it in 1995. Since then, Scooter has gone on to become quite a well-known artist, uh, very famous for his painting on clothing. One of my cherished uh, items in my collection is done by Roman Esser. It's called Portal, and on the back side is a lovely poem and a very sweet, heartfelt dedication to me. Zana Noe did these three pieces called Tilt a Whirl. They were from her American Bones series. This is a rattle and uh, subsequently a, after this, a knife and a sheath. I believe they're from Australia, not from New Zealand. And I believe my father brought these back on one of his trips to visit Australia. Another piece I collected at the visual aid, big deal, was this ceramic. Very sweet, I like all the texture in it. The next item is, was done by artist Timothy Cummings. It was a transition from his doing marionettes to painting. And here you see both. Scary clown and sweet boy with ball. Another painting by Timothy Cummings, 
so beautiful. And this is on loan to our collection. And we finish with a poster from Mad Magda's Mysterian, artwork done by Jordy Jones. I hope you've enjoyed this.